and you know the timing of this whole thing was just horrible, right? Just hitting us right, right when people are as leaving everyone's for trying order. to leave. And now when we look out our window, everything's kind of okay and tapering off. But you know, we had to deal with it this morning. We had a tenth of an inch of ice accumulation in many places. And as we look live outside, a few drops on the camera, but the precipitation is pretty much over. And now we're going to brace for some northwest winds that are going to feel chilly as we move through the rest of the day. But that icy mix is all headed for Detroit and for Cleveland. So that wintry mix moves out. The winds take over. They'll be gusty out of the northwest, sustained 10 to 20, but some higher gusts. Temperatures will be holding in the upper 20s, probably because of the cloud cover. Feeling like the teens. We may get a hint or two of sunshine, but I think more than not, we'll have cloud cover. 23 degrees is our current reading. We see those winds turning now. They were westerly earlier. Now they're starting to turn more northwesterly at 8 miles per hour. It's 25 downtown, 30 in Valparaiso, 28 in Gary, 21 in Waukegan. But when you factor in those winds that are just starting, especially to the north and west, it feels like 11 in DeKalb, 11 in Waukegan for a wind chill, 15 right now in Aurora. Okay, this is a textbook cold front picture. Look at the air behind the front. It is 9 in Minneapolis with a wind chill of 11 below. Ahead of the front, it's 67 in Columbus. So that line right here shows us where that cold front is as it all tracks to the east and pushes all of that weather out of the picture for us. So as I mentioned, Detroit, Cleveland, even Buffalo starting to get in on that precipitation. We're drying out as low pressure pulls away from us. It's over St. Louis now. It's going to track eastward. So the freezing rain advisory up till noon for LaPorte, but that's going to be tapering off here and all headed for lower Michigan. And on the radar picture, you can see how quiet it is here as all of that rain and then the icy mix to the north tracks east. So really, New England, parts of the northeast there are going to be bracing for all of this precip to move in while we start to dry out. So our high temperature today hovering in the upper 20s, but feeling like the teens thanks to that wind out of the northwest at 10 to 20. So actual highs will be slightly below average. 31 is our normal. Normal high will be there in Indiana, but 26 in McHenry, 29 in Aurora, 29 in Chicago. Then for tonight, partly cloudy and cold with a low right around 14. And then during the day tomorrow, we'll be dry most of the day and have 26 for the high with a mostly cloudy sky. Now, as we head into the weekend, this is what we're looking at. There are a couple of chances for wintry mix to develop all over again. First chance at the crack of dawn Saturday, a little sleet, little snow, but then the day is dry but cloudy. Then on Sunday, we're dry all day, but as the sun sets, we look for an evening mix. So we are going to have to track a couple of systems this weekend, Lionel, but it looks like the bulk of your Saturday and the bulk of your Sunday will be dry. All right. <laughs> some kind of break. Some, <laughs> We're looking for the bright spots. <laughs> Look, it's the middle of January. We know, we know what we signed up for. Mary Kate, thank you. Still ahead, 